please welcome Mike Epps. First off, congratulations. Uh, I just oh, heard some you. pretty fun, exciting news about you. Yeah. Is that you, I got a shot right here. Oh, man. You just graduated from high school. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got a degree. I Thank got, you very much. Yeah, high school yeah, diploma. Yeah, yeah. You got pro is that your mom? Is that your mom right there? That's my beautiful mom right there. That's Mr. fantastic. Yeah. That's my beautiful mom right wow. there. You know what I mean? I feel a little good about it. You know, I got my <laughs> high school diploma. Now, but who is this who doesn't seem so impressed with you? Oh, that's my <laughs> that's my granddaughter. You have a granddaughter? Yeah, that's my granddaughter, wow. Skylar. She's so beautiful, and, and she's looking at me uh, in that picture like, now you know damn well you didn't graduate 2016. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't graduate when you were actually in high school. What what pulled you away? Did you go straight into stand up? Because I know that's the first thing you did as a performer. No, you know I could I couldn't keep a job, man. I was cracking jokes on all my jobs. You know, Waffle Houses and and. Uh, Ponderosas and uh, did you work in a Waffle House? I did and Ponderosa, steak and ale, mm -hmm. you know. And I just couldn't keep a job, so you know, my dad got mad at me, so I started working on being funny, and I got a funny job. What I like, you didn't go to Los Angeles or New York, though. You went down to Atlanta. What brought you down there rather than sort of the two big comedy hubs? Well, you know, just being from Indiana and not really understanding show business, I thought I could go to Atlanta and become famous. And uh, <laughs> and I went down to move my auntie after she told me, don't come down because I, I, I know I invited you to Atlanta to stay with me, but I got a husband now, so you can't come. And I went anyway. You and, just and I, yeah, showed up? I showed up, and she said, man, I told you, Mike, you can't stay with me. She, so she said, you know what? He goes to work every day at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You can stay in the basement. So I'm in the basement like Anne Frank, hiding out. <laughs> <laughs> and one this, ma this, this makes your uncle a Nazi in your metaphor, <laughs> by the way. Okay, but go, much, okay uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, How uh, long did you do that? I did it for about, uh, maybe, it lasted for about three weeks. I guess he didn't go to three work. Three weeks on... you would stay down because he work on the night shift, you just hide in the basement? Yeah, behind the dryer, and the dryer be on, and I'd just be shaking back there, <laughs> and all this, this, the clothes and stuff. So, um, you know, one day I come up out of the basement. I guess he decided to go to work late, and I came upstairs. I had a bowl of cereal and my underwear on, and he looked at me, and I looked at him. He said, who are you? And I said, I don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> who am I supposed to be? <laughs> Whoever gets to stay is who I am. That's right. So it worked out. I sat down and talked with him, man. I ended up living there for about a year with those people, you know, thanks to Janet and Sydney mm -hmm. for letting me live with them.